Hi, we are Tina and Bernie and our Border Terrier Blue and not forgetting our converted Bilingo Buddy. We are the other Windsors. So today I'm going to talk toilets. It's a question that a lot of us little campers come up with. What do you do when you need to go to the loo? We do have a Fetford Porta Potty 335 that we can carry in the uh, micro camper. But we wanted something a little less cumbersome, a little bit easier to manage and easier if you're touring around and you don't want to stop off at sites all the time to empty it out. So we had to come up with something, something that was usable, quick to use, easy to use and easy to stow. And uh, this is what we came up with. It was a growing project. It just got bigger and bigger and it's perhaps a little over engineered. There are simple ways of doing this and uh, we've added that at the end of the video. So you don't have to go down the way that we've gone. Now we'll say this is mainly for number twos. We can be done easily by uh, any mail. Uh, Bernie uses a bottle and I use a, a device that will help me to we in a bottle eventually. I'm trialling out a little uh, gadget called a Pibella at the moment and um, it's taking me a little while. I'm four days into learning how to use it. I'm getting there and I think in the end I will do. So that will sort out number ones and this little hack is to sort out number twos when you're touring around. We could of course gone for a standard one that you can buy from Amazon or eBay. Uh, the collapsible ones that look like a bucket that you just uh, pull out the cupboard and pop up and put a bag over. But again the problem we had with that was the same problem we had with the chemical loo. It was the lack of space to be able to use it easily. Hence us going down this route. So we needed an alternative toilet um, because we want to go touring and the little uh, porta potty I think it's a 345 cube, is so tiny, um, we'd have to book into a site every couple of days or find somewhere suitable to be able to empty the chemical loo. So to kill two birds with one stone, that is to have more space and a toilet that we can use comfortably inside, we had to come up with a plan and this is it. So we love our chapel motor homes conversion. We love the fact that we can live inside the van and not have to rely on pulling the kitchen out the back. One of the little issues we have found though is the use of a toilet. There is a cupboard actually in the unit at the back that stores the toilet for travelling. But because of the limited space within the, the actual van, it's pretty much impossible to use that toilet inside. What's actually happened to uh, reduce the, the space in between the benches is in order to make a slightly wider bench on the passenger side here, Chapel have actually extended it from front to back and that has narrowed the actual gap in the middle, which as I say makes it impossible to put your toilet in. There just isn't enough space between these two here. So there are swings and roundabouts and pros and cons to most things. And the bench is lovely because it's a wider bench. You can get all your sleeping bags and your clothing in it. And yeah. it's a slightly wider platform to sit on. But the downside of that is this reduced space in the middle. So measure the gap in the space where you want to use the seat and then cut a piece of ply or any other board. Also cutting out a suitably sized hole in the middle. We were fortunate to be able to use the Fetford toilet seat as a template, but if you're using the simpler method without the seat, then ensure you make the hole big enough to use after you've added the pipe insulation. So this seat we've taken off our old Fetford chemical toilet, we just borrowed it. This does mean that we can replace it and still use it in an awning for longer stays. And um, just to make it more comfortable, because when it's like that, I thought it'd be comfy to sit on, but trust me, it isn't. So we've decided we'd try and use this, but there's just one small issue, and that is it moves. So thinking caps on, and I think we've come up with a solution. We've got this piece of wood, and like I said, we're going to put the Thetford toilet seat on the top because it's not very comfortable. But as I stated, it does slide around a bit. So we'll put the thinking caps on and I think this is what we're going to try. This is a piece of the original finishing strip that came on this board. 
We've still got the original bit on the front, the sides Bernie's painted just to protect them a little bit because if we put the strip all the way round it would be too tight to go where we want it to go in the van. So using that finishing strip what we thought was we need a bit of a lip on this here up into the toilet seat to stop it moving around. So because it was routed the board for this finishing strip to go in it's got a little lip so what we're going to do is, in theory, we're going to sit that so finishing that strip way. in there and sit it on the lip. Not quite sure yet how we're going to fasten it, glue it, tack it. We haven't decided. Tack it, yeah. Probably tack it. Probably um, some. I've got some small uh, tacks. Right. Pin panel pins they are. All right. So my idea is to um, put some put some little holes in first into the. A little pipe. Strip. All right, yeah. Some small holes in there, and then I'll be able to put some panel pins in every so often, all the way around. Right, and then we'll see if the and toilet that seat. Hopefully, should then fit when it's on. That'll sit over the top of that lid, and it shouldn't move about. And it should stop. It might move slightly, but it'll stop it sliding. Right. Too far. So we'll give that a go and see how it works. <laughs> This also meant that although that stopped it moving around excessively, it was still in two pieces. So A, it was going to be a problem to store, and B, it was going to be a faff to have to put that together every time. So again, we had to think about it. What Bernie came up with was uh, adding this small wooden block to the back of the board, and he's actually put some little inserts in it, drilled some little dents, holes, whatever you want to call them, so that the seat, which has got lugs on, could actually go onto that. But then we noticed, ah, the actual seat doesn't have the lugs. It's the lid that has the lugs. So we found that we, we would have to put the seat and the lid back as one, like so. But we did have a, a worry that we may end up damaging this in some way because we would still like to use the lid back on the porta potty so we had a choice between the two. So as Tina says, I, I made this little block with the holes in the side and the idea then is that that just clip on To the block like so which gives you the, ch the choice of just having the seat down to be able to use a toilet and the lid when it's not in use so as i mentioned earlier in the video uh, we have this extra little lip round here that's gone on top of the plastic rim that bernie put in we thought we didn't really want to use huge bags that would have to go over the whole block. So in order to keep a smaller bag on, we were going to have to think of a way of anchoring it. So we came up with this. You'll have to forgive the little gap here, but we do like to reuse things. And uh, we didn't have a long enough piece. We will probably, uh, if this works, we'll replace it later with a better bit. So the theory is... That when you push the seat down and you get your body weight on there it will hold a bag and you won't have to have the the really large ones to go over the whole board which personally we think is a waste so we found some smaller bags i think these are 12 litre ones uh, we got them off amazon and i'll put a picture up later and all you do is put the bag around the lip Obviously this is a darn sight easier when you've got a gap underneath when it's actually in situ and we'll show you that later. But you put the bag underneath, you drop the seat on top of that and then because of your body weight being on that, it actually anchors the bag in pretty well. And don't forget that's going to be sitting on the floor of your van as well so there's going to be no tension on that really. So what we'll do is we'll put this in the van and we'll show you how it all works and what we've done in order to be able to store it. Here we are in the van and this is the unit that we've been showing you inside. 
and now we'll show you where we put it what we designed it to do so as I said the gap between these two benches is too narrow to get the chemical loo in so what we do is we drop this in like you would as if you were putting your table in and it sits on the two supports just like so to give yourself a bit of extra hip room because there's not a right lot of room there what we do is lift up these cushions here to give you the extra space now you could put this anywhere you want along this length of track so if you wanted it further to the front to give yourself some more leg room you could do that but it fits nicely there so we'd lift up this first lid and the seat and we put the bag in like so just over that little lid like so and drop the seat down and as I said that actually keeps it in nicely and it's actually sitting on the floor so there's no pressure anyway now forgive me for getting a little bit near the bone here but we have to discuss it when you go in there you're going to make fluid and you don't really carry in bags of fluid around with you so what we got thanks to a suggestion from life too short is these little uh, verna gel little sachets that once they get any moisture on them it swells up and it gets rid of any liquids i will put a link in the description and show you where we got them from so you just drop one of those in the bottom of the bag and you're ready to go there we go as you can see it takes the weight i'm not exactly light but it's fine and it's comfortable so you do your business obviously your partner if you're not that close is stood outside in the rain you finish doing what you need to do you just lift up the lid take off the bag get as much air out of it as possible and tie it up now what we intend to do is to actually get a paint kettle with a lid again at the suggestion of life's too short because you may not always be near a bin to get rid of this so you don't be carrying smelly bags around in your van so put them in a paint kettle until you get to an appropriate place where you can get rid of them the other thing i'd like to say is we've gone for black bags not easy to find these um, the reason we wanted black ones is because it's more discreet to get rid of them you know, you can pop that in a, a dog poo bin or, heaven forbid, if you've no choice, in a normal bin. No one's going to know what it is. So uh, we've just discussed what you do with the old bags. and uh, Now we've finished, everything's put away and we want to make sure that this toilet is easy to get to. Because the last thing you want, if you're absolutely desperate, is to have to hunt around to find a bag, find a sachet, etc, etc. So what we tend to do is put the bag back in, a new bag obviously, with a sachet in the bottom already already in there the seat down to hold the bag in place pull it back up a bit to get some of the air out and then we we found a great spot to store it now you guys might not have the same setup as us so you might want to store it in your bench and as you can see it's flat it's reasonably small so it shouldn't be a problem to put it in a bench or down the back of the seat or anywhere you want mm -hmm. but we thought it'd be nice to have it handy and well stowed so bernie cut off the corners of these supports and then just sanded them down to make them smooth and that means that that can slot down there that's all ready to go for the next time you need it so it's already there in emergency with the chapel you have a little infill a bit that goes in here so I'm going to get that and put it back in push it back up against it put the cushions down and we don't think that that looks too uh, obtrusive do we Bernie it's no obviously if you wanted to take the Fetford off you could if people know what Fetfords are but I think that looks really neat there so it's all ready, it's all ready to go. All you have to do is do everything in reverse. Take that out, push your cushions up, pick that up, put it on the supports, ready to go.
jobs are good and <laughs> this just means that on our planned tours we don't have to worry as I said about finding somewhere to empty a chemical loo that's even if we could use it inside comfortably which unfortunately is not really a, an option at the moment so thanks for watching and we hope that this might just give you a few ideas probably slightly over engineered for some people but there are other ways Right, as we said, um, ours is probably over-engineered, but it works for us. It was a project that we started and it just kind of grew and grew. But we're happy with the result and we have tried it out on our last night out and it worked really well. But you don't have to go to all that bother of putting the Fetford toilet seat on. If you want and you haven't got a toilet seat, you just need to have a piece of board. Any board will do, measured to the, the width of the gap between whatever benches you're trying to fit it in. And then because I said this is not comfortable to sit on, what you could do, I've just put some on the edge of our board to show you, is put some slightly smaller pipe insulation over the board. That will make it comfortable to sit on. And then you'll need to stretch your bag over the whole thing. So again, you're going to need bigger bags for that job. But that's just a simpler way of having the same thing really. Everybody